We're rolling, we're rolling, we're hot, we're hot. I see a wicked suspended mark. What is that? <coughs> there we go. Fish on, baby. Oh, it's a nice one. This is a hot hole right now. And this is a hot hole. Get out of here. Oh, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, Take a look at that. Come here. Come here. Oh, burbs. Burbs. Dang, that felt good. I didn't think, I've, I've been, I jigged here for less than 30 seconds. The bird we've caught tonight, too, has had it, like, buried. Yeah. Like, they're eating. They are eating. Please. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. All right, evening one of pout fishing. Current time check is 11.17. Uh, we're just leaving the lake right now. We just hit spot number one, and it was a total bust. So we're gonna go hit spot number two. It's a heck of a long walk. Hayes needs some fuel, and we'll probably get some drinks and stuff on the inside. But yeah, this is <laughs> this is bourboning. This is pout fishing. This is um, kind of search and destroy. Obviously with ice conditions, we can't drive our trucks or really machines out um, on kind of the ice that we have. So we're walking and uh, we hit Gull Lake right away and it wasn't great. And we are also gonna hit Gull Lake here after holiday. Um, and just, I don't know, see all the cookie crumbles. We'll probably fish from maybe midnight to two or three in the morning. Talk to me, how, how are you doing tonight? Give us, give us the rundown, what's been happening? What are we doing? We're gonna go try spot number two. Yeah. Um, spot number one was kind of a letdown. We saw a few swimming around, but you know, pre-spawn burbot, looking for the groups. Well, look at the look at the message. Somebody wrote this on here. It wasn't me. Are you serious? Somebody wrote this on here, and it was not me. I swear to God. <laughs> the bacon and sausage, cheddar, Jack pretzel. You would you would house that? Feed me. Oh, those are good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's ready. He's ready. I just opened a bubbler. You did? Guess what? You got to rehab. Double duty, and that's for Jay Double Lee. Double duty. We're staying awake tonight. Bourbon. All night. We're bourbon. In the water. Bad luck is what? Sam doesn't think they're bad luck, do you? No, no, no. They're good luck? Current time check, 11.45. Spot number two on our mission. We've got an auger, some rods, some vexillars, some lights, some bait, and we're off. All right, current time check. March 1st, 12.46 a.m. And look at that. Look at that behind Haze. A beautiful moon. Talk to the folks. Give them an update. We just haven't really seen many. So we're just going to plop down here and start fishing. Eel pout notoriously are a fish that... <clears throat> hug the bottom stay pretty close to the bottom um you can see some we saw some tonight suspended but pretty spawn like this i mean we should be seeing groups of fish but we're just not so who knows we're going to give this 15 20 minutes it's almost 1 a.m we got to get some sleep i don't think we're too early i don't think we're too late i think we're here at the right time um, and i think we just we need to sit down and fish so that's what we're going to do Coal pin behind us is in like 31 feet. We're in 21 feet behind that. Drops down even more. So 1 a.m. March 1st. Let's get to pound and sand. All right. Hayes is doing a little bathroom break there. Talk to the folks. It's way too late. We haven't uh, we haven't set the hook once. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're we're calling it for the night. And uh, hoping that tomorrow has a little bit better in store for us. Ooh. Current time check, 1.41 in the morning. No luck at spot number two. We got a long walk off. We can go get some shut eye. We're not defeated. We're just done for tonight. The story doesn't end here. We're not giving up. Oh man, we ain't giving up. Oh, good morning. Current time check is 10 a.m. We slept from about 3.34 in the morning till like 9.30. Showered, 
packed up and we're heading on. Heading on to a different lake, a little different area. Same goal, catch some bourbon. But first, we definitely need some food. Skillet, what'd you go with? <laughs> the French dip. Yeah. Delicious. What'd you go with? Chicken savvy. <laughs> oh man, this is this is what our bodies needed. We're about to make some long walks and probably pull another late night. <laughs> At least you know though. At least we made the move last night to try it. How about the Airbnb request that's not gonna get approved? Let's talk about that. I should go get my phone. Yeah, he was need to make a move. What's his name? Moose. Hey, Moose, that's a, such a good name for you. Big old Moose. Good boy. You guys have a good one. I feel like he was down one of these roads, like right here, where we like pulled off that one time with your fish house. Wasn't it in Gull? All right, evening number three. Current time check is like 5.30. We got a crew of four boys out here tonight. We got Billy, Cole, Sammy, um, and it's fun because we're returning to a spot where we caught them last night. Just to recap, night number one, tried multiple spots, struck out. Um, we were on Gull Lake. And then after that, we just moved and grooved. It was no good. Last night we fished a spot on this particular lake till like, I don't know, maybe 10 o'clock at night and it was just quiet. We looked at the map found a different break, a little bump out on it, drove like 30 holes, and it was like we had two bite windows that kind of happened, maybe at like 11 o'clock or kind of around midnight. It was like boom, 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 and we were we were hyped, so. Bourbon, eel pout, lingcod, whatever you may call it, it is the best fishing breakfast. We've been waiting to see you all year. Yee-hoo! Skunk out of the boat! Number two going back. I got, I got, you. I got you. This might be very large. Oh, oh it's, it's large. A, it's a big one. It's a big one. Large ass. Boy. Your bourbon, oh. sir. Boy. Thank you. I'll have another. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Dang, he's so leopard up. How was the bite on that? You were so quiet. I was only down for two minutes. Don't flip them. Oh! That's a little bigger than I thought it was. That's a big one. Survey says. 6'4. Son of a. Fish I think it. it's just because it's a little shorter. Yeah. Still, though. Substantial. Oh. Oh boy. Jeez. We got spanked. We got spanked last night till three in the morning. Dude, really and we're being crazy. rewarded right now for staying. I missed out on the suck last night. I just get to do all the fun stuff like catching <laughs> bourbon. This is sweet. <laughs> Goodbye. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. So much slime. I love it. <laughs> all right. Number four for me. I think that's number eight for the crew. And uh, yeah, they seem to be getting bigger as the night goes on. Just a beautiful burb, thick. Beautiful pattern. This is a seven Look pounder. At Look at all the scraping from the zebra mussels. Yeah, seven pounder. Wow. Not a bad one. So beautiful. All right, we're gonna get it back. Oh. That doesn't get old. That does not Just that old. tail slap on the side of the hole when they go. We've got three phones. Two of them are now completely dead. Mine's on 5% battery. And uh, 
we haven't taken the camera out so we're just kind of yeah getting bits and pieces where we can but that's what it's about it's just fishing <laughs> pounding sand and just cranking on burbs it doesn't get any better look how pretty that is oh look i've like never seen anything like the that top of the head. looks like tie-dye and that's where we do it because these fish they fight hard and they're absolutely beautiful the leopard pattern are you kidding me so much cooler than a line Finally, dude. It's been a year, two years. I didn't, I know I caught one last year. A year since my last burb. Nice job. All in the same fish. So I'm pleased. I don't know how large it is. Go on. Substantial. Boy, don't get him up. <laughs> get him, brother. Yay! <laughs> Boy, Sammy. Look at, look at his beautiful pattern. Come on, that's that's. He's kind of got the same little deal. Love these things. These are my favorite fish by far. I almost don't want to say goodbye. I know. Let's see if he'll go down the hole nicely. I doubt it. Nope. Figure it out. Nice oh, job, that is wonderful. I don't even hate it. I oh, kind of love it. How good does that oh, feel, dude? I am so excited. <laughs> I could stay on here until four in the morning. Can we so that? <sighs> Yes! Ooh. Might be a little better than I thought. This is all you. You kind of grew some shoulders once you got up to the hole here. What is going on? It's really nice it's a nice one cold. If I can get him like that, again. I will full arm this fish. Hold on. Get him, Sammy. Oh my god, that's a big fish. It's a, yeah, it's Let's really see what nice let me fish. see if I can see where that hook is. You got him. You got him. Looks like he's in the corner with a mouth. He now. just spat yep, out yep. a shiner. Oh that's a, that's a nice one, dude. <laughs> Get in, Look at him, pinned him right to the bottom. Oh, that, came dude, right that, right out. Out. <laughs> that came right out. That came right out. That's what we like to call a shovel. Oh my gosh. I think that's an old fish. Oh yeah, look at it. It's one eye is kind of getting glassed over at the cataract. That might be why it's so skinny too. This old? Dude, be. that's, a, cool that's a beautiful though. fish. Dorsal. Tonight we're just burping again. Um, it's beautiful. We walked out here in no bibs. I want to say it's like close to 50 degrees, low wind, pretty overcast. And the goal is just pound sand and hopefully they swim by. So let's talk to the boys real quick. Check, check, mic check. Hello? Uh, a lot of time for bourbon and underwater camera is really handy. Just because we're looking on such steep breaks. And obviously there can be a variety of fish on steep breaks. Everything from walleye to other game fish. And we're just... We're trying to get eyes on actual burbot. And you're dancing. Cole's feeling himself tonight. Talk talk about your new do you got. My buddy Bill here, he provided me with this nice flannel. It's gonna yeah. keep me nice and warm all night. Look at that. A little hams, little ham sponsorship. The so, land of sky blue waters. I feel like when you're bird fishing, you gotta at least drink one hams just because burb yeah. season and yeah, you don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> get greasy with them with get some greasy hams. With hams. All right, let's talk to Bill. Bill's a burbiteer himself. Bill, talk to the folks about burbit fishing in general. Why is it fun? Why is it awesome? Why is it weird? Why is it great? Well, I mean, honestly, I kind of compare it to bass fishing through the ice. It's fun because you can just rip the hell out of it. And I know it's fun. And we're ready to lace into them, boys. We're going to have fun yeah. tonight. Yeah, uh, words of wisdom, uh, pound sand and use minnows. Yeah. That's the words of wisdom. It's really hard to mess up bird fishing. It's not the hardest thing to do in the world, but it is the most fun. And that's why we're out here right now. These boys, I think they're a little excited. Yeah. Bill. Bill Bill doesn't really catch that many burbot. I like to take him out every once in a while. <laughs> he's a good dude. Just for the cause. And look at Cole. He looks like a kid on the first day of school. He's hyped. He's sweating right now. <laughs> All right. The goal for tonight, 12 burbot. A baker's dozen. Maybe 13. I like that. I like that. Let's get it. It's definitely a night bite, at least right now. We're kind of in that special window right before they spawn. And when they spawn, that happens, you know. You can see them and catch them during the day. But right now, I think they're just kind of pulling up on these shelves in the evening to, um, to eat a little bit before they do the birds and the bees. So, no more talking. We're getting fishing. Yeah, don't touch it. Okay, you gotta get just like a... Integrate. Definitely probably the coolest part about fishing for burbot or pout is um, walleyes closed. It's basically just pan fish right now that we can fish for through the ice um, while we still have some. But pout is like, 
the one thing you don't need a tiny little ultralight jiggle stick for. You can have heavy line, heavy rods, and just whack them. So, yeah, we've got 20 pound braid to a katana, 34 inch medium. It's more like a medium heavy. It's it's a pretty stout rod, and yeah, just a spoon or a really heavy jig, glow it up and just whack. So, let's get down there. Yeah, Bill, we caught those smallies in that corner. Yeah. I don't remember them being on beds, though. It's almost like they were food. No, they were on beds. They were right, there's like that rock little, like, not even spine, but it just curls in that corner, and they were on it. On? I don't know. No, it is not a walleye. It's a burbot. It's a burb for I sure. I think it's a burbot. Skinny dude. What? Look down on yourself. <laughs> oh boys. <laughs> Tough look on that. What does it smell like? Crayfish? First burb of the night, brother. Just pounding hey, bottom, grease. pounding sand, chatting with the boys. Didn't really think I was gonna get bit right now. Pint just had one uh bump his camera and then that's gotta be a skinny male. That's yeah, show me his colors. Yeah, he's a cool one. Neat little orange spots, some feces on there. Lots of feces. Daytime burb, are you kidding me? Where I'm in 50 foot. Like, I just thought maybe fish a little deeper, get them sliding up as the night goes on. So, it worked. Here That'd we are. Boy. Dude, let's go get some more. Let's get more. Let's Baker's get more. dozen. Baker's Here it dozen. Comes. Half of the night. Nice job, dude. Nice job. Daytime burb. Uh oh. Uh oh. I was just pounding sand. It kind of bumped it, like lifting it up real slow. And I like lift it up and it was just like bump. And then I dropped my bait back down, lift it up again, and it was like bump. And I, then it started pulling. I was like, no way. Really? Already? And then whack. Dude, can't complain. Yeah, or other, or like if Sammy hooks up, Pinto, don't be afraid to rip over there really quick and, and hit some shots. On. You're kidding. Alright, talk to us. Oh, it's a freaking pipe, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's a northern. This is <laughs> This is crazy. I'm literally building just a Jimmy rig camera over here to film Bill. We got the Strike Master to a. And we got a northern Alberta fishing. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a first for me as well as everyone else here. Uh, obviously, it's never happened to me, but these guys are out of season. So we're going to get her back to her home, probably his home. And yeah, hopefully, we get a burb. All right, negative one for Bill. Negative one for Bill. Sammy one, Cole and I zero zero. That's negative one. Vexlar right now is serving the sole purpose of being a light. I don't know. <laughs> that was hilarious. You're like, oh, and I'm like, yes. Yeah. 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 Like the bottom half is like, yes, we're looking at that log. Yeah. So like. I don't know if that's how that works on this. Like, if it's off to the side of the cone on bottom, if it starts moving down here. Because, like, there's times where I'll be looking at it, and all of a sudden, like, way down here starts marking. But, like, your real bottom's here. Yeah. So, like, I don't know why it's going off. Like, just one. Got one. Oh, that a boy. Yeah, Bill. We're over here discussing what bourbon looked like on bottom. And Bill's, Bill's, on. Bill's getting it done. Bill's on, on baby. Hopefully this isn't another northern. It's feeling burby. Stop him. That's gotta be the one I just had on camera. Lantern light burbs. Oh my god, that thing's spinning. 
Nice food, boys. Give me some of that. Let's go. Beautiful. Yeah, no, so I didn't even mark that one either. Kind of just came up and hit her out of nowhere and gave me a nice thump. Similar to a bass, like I said before. These things are awesome. Oh, let's look at the pattern on that beauty. A lot darker than Sam's. Sam's is a lot lighter. I like to call those blondies, but yeah, this one's that dark fish that this lake's known for. So. Jeez. There she goes. How about that, Toby? Nicely done, dude. Was it Let's just gummy? More. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I didn't even mark that fish. He came up out of nowhere and just smoked it. Yeah, no, it was a crazy cool bite. And yeah, I'm looking forward to some more on this round for sure. Nicely done, dude. That was freaking sick. Bilbo. Tell me a story and make it riveting. You heard me. Tell me a story and make it riveting. What? An on you the spot me. story. On Give the me spot a good story. story. Um, What'd you say? Sob story? I don't want to hear some sad I don't want to hear that. Uh, We're bird fishing. It's a happy time. Tell me something funny. Like, give so, me, like, a time you shit your pants. Oh, I got a good shit your pants story. <laughs> so, I was actually at the Space Needle in Seattle when I was in ninth grade on a church choir trip, and, uh, yeah, so I'm sitting out by the space, you know, having a good time, taking some pictures with friends, and all of a sudden, all of the gates just unfolded, and I sh my pants, oh, and it was just needle. watery diarrhea. Oh, so, in uh, the space needle? Yeah, the space needle in Seattle. At, like at the top? No, I was at the bottom, like on like the grass area. Like it was springtime, it was nice, like it smelled good, except for my <laughs> shit, obviously. And uh, yeah, I know. That was a tough day, so I walked into one of those little outlet stores next to the space, you know, I went up to the clerk, and the guy was like, looks like you're in some trouble, man. I'm like, I need to buy a pair of shorts and a new pair of socks from you, and then I need a plastic bag and a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> and so I got it all taken care of, and no one ever knew. <laughs> no one knew? No, no one knew? No one knew that I shit my pants. I shit my pants, and, did, uh, did you tell anyone the rest of the trip? No. No, I bet not many people have shit their pants at the Space Needle. Not that's yeah, like it probably hasn't happened much unless you're like an infant. Yeah. <laughs> that's like super public. <laughs> you guys heard my Key West story? No. On. Out. I actually did mark that one. Came up about a foot off bottom and rocked me. It looked oh, like just an angel. Yeah. He smoked it, boys. That's Look at that thing. Beautiful. Kind of the same colors as the last one, too. It's that nice leopard print. Bill, that a boy. You're kind of on fire right I now. Know. <laughs> Start to happen. You yeah, know, that thing just kind of came up about a foot off bottom and rocked me. The old trout pouch a little different than Sam. Just using a big jig with a bunch of dead minners on it. That thing wanted all of it. Freaking beautiful. I had the idea, we're kind of sitting on this break right now. It's got really close access to deep water and it kind of comes like this and there's some more structure down the break that way and there's a little bit of a point that sticks out down here a little bit. And I'm trying to get Bill to go on a mission here and go check it out. I, I think we're going to go do it. I think it's going to be really Are you guys going to do it? Yeah, I'm going to go do it. I think they're going to do a little bit more on a little bit of structure on this break than they are just running the brake line. So hopefully there'll be more than just one here and there running. Bill's a good friend because Sam just came over and shows him a spot on the map and Bill's like, I don't know if I want to go in there. Sets the hook out of this hole and he's still going on the mission. Yeah, let's do it. New water. Right. Yep. Good luck, Perfect. boys. The chief. The chief. The chief. <laughs> we're rolling, we're rolling, we're hot, we're hot. I see a wicked suspended mark. 
What is that? There we go. Fish on, baby. Wow, that was like, that was seconds that, after I moved to this hole. Oh. Bourbon, baby, get in here, Pinto. Is that a boy? Oh, I just moved into Bill's hole after he left. He popped two verbs out of this hole and I was like, it'd be dumb not, oh, it's a nice one. This is a hot hole right now. And this is a hot hole. Get out of here. Oh, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Take a look at that. Take a look at that. Get in here, Ben. Come in. Come in. Oh, burbs. Burbs. Dang, that felt good. I didn't think, I've, I've been, I jigged here for less than 30 seconds. Not even. You said, well, was it the uh, suspended bark that you saw or no? No, it no. wasn't. I just dropped on the bottom and Every it was bird we've caught tonight too has had it like buried. Yeah. Like they're eating. They are eating. Oh. Flyers. Little half ounce trout and pellet spoon, a little VMC treble on the back. I always like to kind of upgrade the trebles just because you want the best hook you can. <sighs> Beautiful. All right, 7.31 is our time check. I've got so much fishing left to do. See you, buddy. Freeze. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. All right, glowing up. Glowing up and dropping back down. <coughs> oh, that happened so quick. My original hole that I was kind of committed to where I caught him last night, it's like... 30 yards behind me and I got everything set up there with cameras um, I grabbed a couple different cameras because Bill left and then Cole and I both looked at each other and we're like ah somebody should probably go sit in his hole I mean he caught two out of it and I was like okay literally just set everything up here drop down quack. so I might I might commit in this hole the rest of the night and that's kind of the fun thing about burbot fishing too is I just feel like they're always swimming and they're gonna move through on these breaks it's not like you got to chase them around or be that mobile, you know, even though they are checking a different spot as far as like hole hopping, you really only need to drill a handful of holes to kind of cover, cover the break or the point you're fishing and then kind of figure it out from there where they're running through or at least where you're getting bites. Oh man, I am freaking amped through the roof. I guess, isn't it black down there? You could see him swim by, you think? Oh, I just got tapped. Come on. There we go. There we go, baby. Oh, gosh, he just nibbled it. I don't think it's too big. You never know. Oh yes, dude. Oh, it doesn't feel, it doesn't look, uh, dude, it actually looks nice. You always got a big head. Nice, oh, nice, oh, little boy. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Way to fish him up. Oh, that was sweet. Oh man. Oh, again. They're just not missing it. Come on, come on. Look at that freaking beauty. Oh my gosh, it didn't feel that big right away. And then he kind of got by the hole and I was like, that's that's a nice pout. We'll pop them out. Oh, they got such a strong clamp down. Look at that. Just eating it. Absolutely. Wow, you're strong, dude. 
freaking strong. Oh. Tell me time. Tell me time. The patterns, dude, are so cool. Each one is just so unique. All right, one, one kiss. Going right back. There you are. Thank you so much, girl. This is a hot hole. Let's do it again, and 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 again. got word from Billy and Sammy that they're doing pretty good over there. Um, I'll show you guys kind of on the map just where they moved to and, and it makes sense you know what I mean they're sitting at kind of a great little bump out on this break and what have they caught five so far? We've caught five yeah. So we're gonna rally pack our stuff up run down there and we'll talk to you in three two one. Make the money move. Let's give them something to talk about. until about right now last night we're sitting kind of on like an inside turn off a real steep break where there's some real deep water structure out to the back like behind us here so it's just a real steep break that bumps up to structure and it's just kind of where we're sitting right now we've seen probably i don't know 10 10 burbits since we moved here and then what so, we've caught six of them so yeah. i mean the hookup rate's been pretty good tonight so i lost I a mean, real big yeah, one a couple did. minutes ago so kind of sad about that hopefully I get a little redemption but the boys are here now so we're gonna have a time yeah a couple laughs maybe a couple cold pops let's get after it let's get it let's get it Dad? get it the chi bring the chi in chi. bring the, the chi. chi in right here bring it in right here the and, chi and also the simple chi. math would tell us that if we were here five plus five would be ten so we're doubling our odds so it's, it's pretty much automatic that's what that's what I would say anyways it's but, automatic yeah Automatic. Automatic. And also, look at these fellas. They're putting here holding hands while they're jigging. You and I are going to spread out, and we're just going to tear this point apart. Yeah, and when we checked in with Sammy, he did say that that his advice would be not to forget gloves when it's windy. So what they did is they just they drilled holes as close as they could, so that that, that way they could each keep one hand warm because they're holding hands. Yeah. I just missed one. I was marking too. Come on. Come on. Eat. He's still there. Eat. Here we go. Fish on, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shallower, dude. I looked over and saw your rod. You just go boom. 20 feet. Get up here, you butterball. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Just like Billy and Sam said, they're thinking these fish are kind of moving off the shallow shelf here to the left. They're sitting in 27. Um, and I, Cole and I, we poked about eight or nine holes around here, and this one's in 20. I was just out in 34, no marks. Instantly came to 20, and then, wow. Yeah, awesome fish, dude. Way to grab him, buddy, thank you. Absolutely. Came and swiped, and I missed it him. And I actually caught this one off the bottom. He came off, I don't know, maybe he was three feet off when he finally hit. It seems like tonight, at least more so than last night, they're either swiping at it or missing it a couple different times and we're getting you know kind of getting an inkling that there's one on us and they're turning around and they're freaking doing it if they want to do it and once again too you can touch on how the eggs too so you can see all the spawns coming up there you can just see the eggs coming out of that female right there 
Wow, cute little female. Mm -hmm. Shallower. We're gonna drill this one. Move ahead. Oh, my pretty babe. Something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead. Oh, my pretty babe.